<laughs> and you, do you find that you still get, even though obviously you, you're, you're a gay man, do you get an awful lot of saucy fan mail from the yeah, female of the species? Yeah, I, I do, and it's, and you know, I, you know, there's some gay guys that I've met along my travels that, that are, you know, ew, ew, girls, vaginas, gross, but <laughs> I think women are beautiful. I honestly and genuinely do. I sell what you want. <laughs> Mel, please. <laughs> I really do. I just lean more to this side, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> We're going to take some questions, I think, from some of your fans Please. that you've got here. Um, so, Kaylee, where's Kaylee? Hello, Kaylee. How are you doing, my love? I'm good. Where are you from, Kaylee? I'm from Essex. Kaylee from Essex. Adam, Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Uh, Kaylee, what was your question for Adam? What song gets you in the mood? What song gets me in the mood? The mood for what? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> You know anything? You know who I love is Goldfrapp. You know the artist Goldfrapp. All of her down tempo stuff, her real moody, atmospheric stuff, that always just puts me in a state. I love it. It relaxes me. It makes me want to kind of roll around, make out. You name it. Goldfrapp makes you want to roll around and make out. Mm -hmm. I do love the down tempo bit. stuff. Really? Yeah. Anything else get you in the mood? Uh, uh, Massive Attack, Radiohead, all that music. I love. Really? It. I love that vibey kind of yeah atmospheric ambient stuff. Massive Attack from my hometown of Bristol, of course. Oh really? Yeah, oh, cool. absolutely. Right on. Um, Kaylee, uh, what gets you in the mood? What kind of music do you like? Anything from Adam's album. Oh. <laughs> Is there oh. a song, one particular song from Adam's album that, if you wanted a little bit of sexy time, Kaylee, you would put that one particular track on? Fever. Yes. Fever. Oh, that how just does, gives how you does, the fever. How does that go, Adam? Can we hear a little bit of that? That's a, that's a, you know, that song, um, that was written by Lady Gaga, actually. Was yeah. it really? Yeah, she wrote the song Fever on my album, and we worked together in the studio, and we had a blast. You were friends with Gaga? Well, we, we have a working relationship. Not I, I friends? Think, well, I'm not, not friends, but she's very busy, and I'm very busy. We, we've exchanged an occasional text message. Why do you hate Lady Gaga, Adam? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is the media. Oh my god, I mean, just, I, re I didn't realize just words it. in my mouth. I didn't realize, I mean, I just mentioned Lady Gaga. No, I love her. Like, I, I would love her. I, I would actually love to be better friends with her, but she's very busy. I mean, it's, it's vitriol. I mean, this is, uh, oh, it's like it's bile spewing out of your mouth about Lady Gaga. <laughs> Nonsense. What did she ever do to you? Uh, Nonsense, no. I, I love her. Are you a, are you a big fan? I, I've, I adore her. I think she's, like, the best thing to happen in a long time, and I think she's so creative and so intelligent, and um, she can knock back a couple whiskeys and record a track, too, let me tell you. She's a pisshead? I never said that. <laughs> it, just, it was just a couple. It was a two-drink minimum type thing. Lady Gaga is a pisshead. See, with the words in my mouth, again. I love that. You're good at that. I met her once. <laughs> Did I you? I met her one, I said, Gaga, I, I love you, I think you're brilliant, I love what you do. Do you know what she said back? What? Oh, I, I love long hair. <laughs> and she fucked off. <laughs> that was it. That was her only response. Well, you know, that's sweet of her, right? Is she, because she's a classically trained uh, pianist and a, and a very accomplished yeah, musician. Yeah, super talented. But she is living on a different planet, isn't she? I mean, I think all good artists are. I think that kind of that's what it takes to kind of get up on stage and be who we are. What planet I'm, do you I'm out of my damn mind. Are you? Yeah. How? How far out I of don't know. Are you? I'm just, you know, it's... Are you like a complete whack job or...? <laughs> Semi-whack. Just a semi-whack. <laughs> <laughs> what planet do you live on? Um, uh... Oh, right. Yeah, my planet brother... Fierce. My brother had a blog and he started blogging about things and such and my experience and he referred to me kind of in a, in a, in a, as a little jab, a little backhand, although the fans have adopted it as a glittery alien from the planet Fierce. You that's know, you. He was me, but they love it, so <laughs> that's great. So okay. that's what planet I, I hail from. Kaylee, thank you for your question. <laughs> we have another question from Gemma. Gemma, hello, my love. Hi, yeah, okay. Where are you from, Gem? I'm from Falmouth in Cornwall. Falmouth in Cornwall. Yeah. Again, another long way to travel. <laughs> uh, what was your question, Gem? Um, if you could live in a movie for the rest of your life, what movie would you choose? Um, if I could live in a movie for the rest of my life, it would be Velvet Goldmine. Velvet Goldmine. Yeah, oh, all-time favorite movie. <laughs> it's about the glam period. It's Absolutely. like, you know, kind of, sort of about Bowie and Jack and uh, uh, Iggy Pop. Yeah. And it's, I don't know, it's just a really gorgeous movie. Are most of your musical influences British ones? Actually, I think if I had to name all the male influences, most of them are. I yeah. mean, Freddie Mercury, David Bowie, Robert Plant. 
um, Boy George, Adam Ant. I mean, all these guys, they're, they're my faves. So, and yeah. also, similar to Freddie Mercury, you were known for your falsetto, weren't you? Uh-huh. I mean, you can get pretty high. Yeah, I can get pretty high. How many? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't deliberate. That was not deliberate. But you were saying you like to get high. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I do like to sing up. high, yes, I do. I do. Yeah. Um, how, <laughs> Adam, how high do you get? Um, <laughs> I don't know what note I can hit, um, but it gets pretty high. Yeah. Like, what's the what is like the highest <laughs> of the high? You know, what what's the peak of highness? Pretty high. Have you reached the peak? Yeah. I'm sure I have. What was it times. like up there? It was great. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you to come back down? <laughs> I felt alive. I smoked my way through it. I don't know. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, Joe's got a question. Let's just go quick. One more question. Oh, sorry, lovely Joe. Joe, where are you from? Um, I'm from Chelmsford, Essex. Hi. Not hey. so far to yeah. travel, not quite so far. Not so far? Yeah, so clearly not that much of a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joe, oh, Joe, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Joe just mouthed, I love you. That's sweet. Um, Joe, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a student. What do you study? Media student, media. And cool. you're a big fan of Adam Lambert? Massive, yeah, the biggest. It's big One of the biggest with the these biggest. guys. <laughs> yes. OK, Joe, what was your question? Um, as we've seen, you've been involved in a uh, controversial on-screen gay kiss in the past. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you fancied another one tonight? <laughs> I'm very flattered, but I have to pass. Oh! I'll probably have I'll probably have a, a, a an off-screen gay kiss later. No boots. Come on. No I'm not a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, though. Okay, so have a hug instead. Do you know what? Though? Give me a hug. Yeah. Give me a hug. I love you, Adam. <laughs> You're amazing over here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have to say, Joe, that was a, just a little bit sexually aggressive, I think, on your, your part. I appreciate that. A little bit of sexual aggression. That was courageous. Uh, yeah, it was. He went for it. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for your questions. Thank you, Joe. We don't have any more time for any more uh, questions. <laughs> so what I ask you? Thanks, Joe. <laughs> is he a good hugger? Great good? hug. Great hug? Great hug. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the king of the hug. Yeah. Um, Adam, how did it feel to... You were runner-up on American Idol, of course. Um, was there some controversy about that decision? Because I think there were a lot of people that felt that you were the true winner and you didn't get the vote. How did that feel? I mean, I kind of think it came down to the end and, and I, I made it to the very last night. I got to perform as many times as possible with amazing artists on stage during that finale. And Chris, the, the winner, is incredibly talented. And oh, yeah. at the end of the day, it really actually doesn't matter. I mean, I got a record deal and here I am on your couch. So <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> I mean, to an extent, though, it must stick in your throat because look, I know what it's like. I tried to enter this year's Eurovision Song Contest. But... <laughs> <laughs> and how, and what's, what was the song? It was called All I Ever Want Is You. Yeah. It was, do you know Ronan Keating? Yeah. Ronan Keating, who was in the boy band Boy Zone, lovely man, co wrote the song with a guy called Paul Barry, okay. who wrote Hero for okay. Enrique Iglesias. Great songwriters. Yes, he wrote Believe for Cher, if you believe in life after love. love that, song. that big hit for yeah. Cher. They wrote a song for me called All I Ever Want Is You. I submitted it to the Irish delegation yeah. for this year's Eurovision Song Contest. I did not even make the Irish national final. Aww. Aww. Yes, I know. Thank you. Can we hear a little bit of it? Sing it for us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> I am going to sing it for you. Yeah! At the end of the show. Yeah. The end of the show. Nice. And let me tell you, you will weep. <laughs> yeah. And I don't just mean from the eyes. Um... <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. You are saucy. Yeah, I like you're it. you ready yeah. to weep? You ready to do a little bit of weeping, Adam? <laughs> hey, come on, you're weeping right now, aren't you? Just a little bit of seepage uh. down there. <laughs> just a little bit of seepage. <laughs> That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Uh, it has been an absolute <laughs> joy. <joke. laughs> so it's dirty. been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank Likewise, you so. How long yeah. are you going to stay in the country? Um, I'm here till Tuesday. This oh, time. you're not going to come to Bristol? I, I, no. It's where massive attack. <laughs> Sorry. But at least he's honest. He's come, to he's come to Brockley. Yes, he has. I'm here. Give him a big hand, everybody. Adam Lambert. <laughs> come on. I love you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir.